Blackmagic just dropped the Cinema Camera 6K and we're here to check it out. I'm here at the Blackmagic booth with Simon. Simon, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Eddie. How are you doing? Good, good. How's the show been so far? The show's been really busy. Yeah, we've had a really good couple of days. Obviously, we've got some exciting new announcements here. Uh, one of them was the one you mentioned to begin with, which is the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K. We've been showing this on the IBC booth for the very first time. This is the first Blackmagic full-frame camera. So this is 35 millimeter full-frame at 6K. And also the first Blackmagic camera to feature an L mount lens adapter. So a couple of firsts from us at the show. One of the things that when you look at this camera for the first time is it's very similar in design to our pocket cinema camera. And there's a reason for that. The reason is a lot of the pocket cinema camera customers will naturally progress into this camera for the additional benefits it provides. But what we didn't want those customers to have to do was to buy new accessories to go with the new camera. So we've designed it in such a way that even though it's a bigger camera, they can still use the EVF, the battery grip that came with the pocket camera, are all usable in this new form factor. Now, apart from those similarities, everything else is different. It's a completely different camera internally, full frame, we can shoot open gate so we can get that whole sensor resolution. It's CF Express capture, so very fast media for high resolution and high frame rate content. Exceptional in low light conditions because of those features. It's dual ISO, same as our other cameras. And, and the excitement around this has been great because of course, opening that up to full frame gives lots more creative shooting opportunities. So I think first Blackmagic camera to feature full frame, first to feature L mount, a couple of exciting new announcements for our customers. Yeah. So tell me a little bit, you've joined the L Alliance. Yes. So tell me why, what's the motivation behind this for Blackmagic? So I, th I think there are lots. I mean, I think obviously affordability of lenses, choices of lenses, I think is, is essential uh, because, you know, you've got to, if, you, if you're going to make and manufacture an affordable camera, then you have to have affordable glass. It's no point if, if the, if, Perhaps you go down the PL lens route, but all of a sudden, every lens is an investment of many thousands. That is almost a restriction to the market that would use this camera. So I think opening that up in terms of, you take manufacturers like Sigma as a lens manufacturer, have something like 20 L mount lenses already within their range. So I think there's a lot of forward movement around, around the L mount and the Alliance. So I think that access to glass is key. I think also versatility and adaptability is important. And it's very easy for us to adapt to other types of lenses. So if people have already made an investment into F mount, they have Nikon lenses or they have EF or they have PL, it's very easy to adapt those to the L mounts and also use some vintage glass therefore as well. And I think that when you're talking about um, the, the, the film aesthetic and what we can create with the sensor that's in this camera, access to the most lenses has to be one of the key criteria behind the camera. So this is because of the low flange distance, right? It is. Yeah, it's absolutely because of that. And I think that versatility exactly enables the kind of things we were talking about. And I think clearly as well, there's a lot of momentum within uh, developments of other cameras and of other accessories around our mounts. And I think also we're going to the full frame Naturally, that gives us a perfect reason as to why L mounts is, is the right choice for this camera. So you've mentioned full frame, and this is one of the biggest features of the camera. I remember last year we were standing here saying that MFT is not dead yet. Uh, why is the switch? Um, MFT is not dead yet. In fact, we're here on the booth at IBC, and I can show you another camera we've released, which is the new studio camera with an MFT lens mount. I think it's about the most appropriate mount, and of course, look, whether it's appropriate or not, or, or not, it's customer choice as much as anything. As a camera manufacturer, we supply our Blackmagic Ursa 12K camera with a PL mount and an EF mount. We provide the pocket camera in an EF or an MFT. The studio camera is an MFT. The new cinema camera is L mount. I think, you know, we're not locking a customer into a single choice. You're just of the absolute team player. Well, look, I think, you know, at the end of the day, it's customer choice. Customer's gonna use the right camera for their work. And I think our job 
is to make sure that we can deliver that across a range of cameras suited to different applications. Okay, what else do you have? I see that you have this EVF built here. What, what would other things be that would work well for, with this camera? Look, I mean, I think it's very easy to accessorize, as most Blackmagic cameras are. We've made sure there's plenty of mounting positions on the camera. You can see we've got this rigged here with the follow focus and the map box. Um, it's actually using an external mount here for EVF. There's lots of, you know, ultimately, if you're going to use this in a cine-style setup as we have here, then you're going to want to be able to accessorize it um, as you would for that environment. We're showing the camera with nothing attached to it on the, on the area next door. But this shows you kind of where you can take it if you want to put it into a cage or a gimbal of some sort. So whatever. It's still very light in weight, so it's very easy to use this camera in multiple different ways depending on what you're shooting. Simon, thank you so much for walking me through the new uh, Cinema Camera 6K. Um, stick around, we're going to have another interview where we talk about the new app.